Hmm. Is that what y'all doing today? Sniffing raid? Huh? Is that what's going on? Is that what's good in the streets? PCP raid? Bath salts? Whatever? Look, folks, we need to have this conversation. A lot of y'all seem to have forgotten what's good in the streets, and uh, some of y'all don't even love yourselves. And I know what you're going to say. Is this an Etika or Pro Jared related video? And kind of, sort of, but not really. If you want about the news and all about the details, go find someone else. I'm sure there's a million other channels talking about that. What I don't understand is y'all don't know these YouTubers, but y'all are willing to square up on the world so much faster on their behalf than you do for loved ones who are getting abused or friends who are getting bullied or even your fucking self. Some of y'all don't even love yourself. Y'all could let someone talk all the shit in the world about you, your family and yours, your friends, and just completely abuse you any type of way. And you'll have no reaction. You'll just be like, oh, whatever. You'll just take it in stride. However, someone says something about Etika and your Joy-Con boys. Someone says something about your favorite social media influencer. Someone says something that's quote unquote out of pocket for your boy Pro Jared who's looking at Dire Straits right now. All of a sudden, you've got all this ammunition and you want to bob and weave and you want to talk about doing something about a situation that really you ain't got no business in. First of all, you don't even know these people. Two, unless you murder a whole bunch of people in their name, they don't give a fuck about you, what you and yours got going on, your family, your friends. But here y'all are getting in the batter's box, getting ready in the strike zone to take a swing at anybody who dare comes near them and their quote unquote image. I just want to understand how much rage you got to sniff to where you feel as though that is the line of behavior that you need to go on. At this point, you're nothing more than an observer. You're nothing more than a witness. You're nothing more than someone who's sitting there going, hey, bro, my, my homie over there, he wilding, but, uh, you know what I'm saying? Let me go over here and defend him and let me, like, not even know anything about the situation and defend him. Because some of y'all don't even have the information on the situation. All the stuff you got to say is hearsay, and then when y'all get blown the fuck out in the debate, y'all go, I mean, it's not his fault. It's clearly just their mental health. Look, if it's their mental health, you should want these motherfuckers to get help. You shouldn't want to be the first one jumping in their Instagram live or their Facebook live when they're clearly off their fucking rocker. You shouldn't be wanting to sit there like, I don't know what's happening over here, John, but goddamn, it's good. Oh, shit, this man is antagonized. Oh, he swung on a police officer. That'll teach that motherfucker right there to be a police officer. You get it done, Etika. I see you over there, boy. Like, that's that's ridiculous. And some of y'all are doing that. And look, I'm not saying that you should just shit all over these people or you should just wish for their damnation. What I'm saying is, if you really think it's a mental health issue, then you should definitely want them to just go get help. However, if they're just a sack of shit, a degenerate, an asshole, fuck them. And I don't mean sexual. I mean just like, yo, rinse your hands, hit the unsubscribe, hit the unfollow, and walk the fuck away. Leave well enough the fuck alone. And I don't think a lot of y'all seem to be capable of doing that because just like any car accident, y'all have to look. Y'all got to get closer and closer and closer until you're damn near intimate with the individuals in question. God, that had to look really fucking weird. Holy shit, oh, my eyes don't look fucked up staring at this bright-ass light. But the point is, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm getting at. And you know I'm right. Some of y'all need just as much help in your life as some of these people you claim are deranged and crazy individuals need theirs. Now, that being said, if you want to talk about this even further, you can. Comment section below. I'm just trying to understand. Y'all don't know these YouTube. You don't know them. There's a reason why there is a saying, never meet your fucking heroes. Because usually, they're just as decrepit, off the shits, and just as deranged as anybody else that you could ever possibly fucking meet. And it's wild to me. It's wild to me.